A lot of people wanted to see if we could incorporate touch sensors into the 3D printed light pipes. There are a lot of suggestions of using things like conductive filament or embedding bolts or wires into the actual print, but I came up with an idea that I think is not only a bit easier, but also looks a lot cleaner. It all centers around this off the shelf capacitive touch sensor, which can act as a single touch switch. And these will work because not only do you not need to directly touch the pad in order to trigger the sensor, but they also work well through a layer of plastic. The next question is, how do we get our touch sensor and our addressable LED to occupy the same space so we can trigger the button by tapping on the illuminated symbol? Well, lucky for us, the ICs on these capacitive touch sensors are auto calibrating, which means it doesn't really matter what shape our electrode is, it will still work. What that means is that we can take one of these off the shelf boards and drill a hole right through the center of the electrode to allow light from our LED to shine through. The plan was to solder together the LED and touch sensor and then embed them one after the other into the housing as it's being 3D printed. So the print would pause twice, first for the touch sensor and then for the LED. You can see that the printed translucent light pipe for the LED goes straight through the center of the touch sensor and then that is locked in place with some more 3D printing. And then we can add the addressable LEDs and carefully tuck all the wires in place before super gluing everything down and then enclosing the whole thing with a few more printed layers. I was really happy with the end result. There was a little spot in the bottom where I had to leave a gap so I could fold the wires over, but I think the overall effect is really cool. So we can perform our first test and hope that none of the wires broke and hoping that I remembered what I soldered to which of the pins, but a simple test confirms that it did work. I think the overall effect was really cool. So we can toggle on and off the light, but we can also toggle the color of the light. This of course could be used as an in Put to a microcontroller project that also gives you a status feedback. The overall device was pretty big just because of the size of the PCB of the touch sensor and it would be a bit impractical to use these if you wanted a whole grid of these touch sensor light combos. But don't worry, I'm already working on the next version so remember to follow along and stay tuned for next time.